Profit's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crispy bindi. Some people call it bindi kurkure. So first of all, we need to wash bindi and wipe it with the wet towel. And then we will do to cut the bindi strips. We take a bindi, get rid of the top and the bottom bit, and then. Slice it at the edge so that you can avoid the seeds. So the seed bit you can discard it and you can see the strips without any seeds. You finally chop bindi in a strip like that. This is a one pound of cut bindi. We'll add some masala, one teaspoon of garlic paste, one teaspoon of ginger paste, half a teaspoon of green chilies, three teaspoon of tarajiro. teaspoon of turmeric powder, garam masala half a teaspoon, black pepper half a teaspoon, red chili half a teaspoon, salt to taste, half a tablespoon of lemon juice, Two large tablespoon of ground flour or chickpeas flour, and half a tablespoon of corn flour. Mix it well. Finally. One, two tablespoon of vegetable oil, or any other oil you prefer. Mix it and leave it for 15 minutes. Once you left it for 10 minutes, uh, now we're gonna fry, deep fry them so it turns out. Be careful to put in. Make sure they are all separated. Once it's slightly brown, you can take it out and put it on a piece of paper so that all the oil is been soaked away. Once you fry them. You will notice the crispiness of bindi and it's called kurkure and here it is we serve with some chutney. 